Welcome back! Yeah, I walked all the way around. Uh, I was tired of waiting for that guy to get out of the way. You can go that way, sometimes. But I didn't want to wait for it, and I walked all the way around. Off camera, so you didn't have to wait for it either. Alright, there's a bunch of things we can do here right now. For example, we can talk to the strong man about this crush he has on Inferno. I know you're the one writing love poems to Inferno. Why don't you just tell her? If you love her, you should let her know. Uh, what? I... Uh, uh, no! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, crap. Uh, uh, how did you figure it out? I mean, I'm afraid to tell her. You trying to sound like Christopher Walken? Afraid? A big guy like you? Yeah, they, yeah. I could bend a steel bar around my neck, but I'm scared of telling her how I feel. But why? Yeah, she won't take me seriously. She thinks I'm just a big dummy. I don't know how to really prove my love. How about a big tattoo of her name on your arm? Hey. That's not such a bad idea. If that don't prove how serious I am, then I don't know what is. <gasps> um, he just disappeared. I guess that actually happened, because um, Sarah reacted to it. Though I think part of the reason is the game didn't just want to animate him walking all there all the way. If he went to get a tattoo in the little wagon we saw, then maybe that will distract the tattoo artist so we can get that needle from him. Can we tell Inferno about the poems? I think we can. I know who's been sending you love poems. What? How did you find out I was getting them? I haven't told a soul. I can't tell you how I found out. But I know that Gino the strong man is sending them. Oh no. That big oaf. Oh my goodness. He was dating half the girls from the high wire act before the flood. How can I take that man seriously? Wait, wasn't she married? Didn't her husband like just die? What if he tattoos your name on his arm? No. I don't know. If you were willing to do that, maybe it would be a start. Just between you and me, I've been awfully lonely since my husband went away. Okay, well, I... Maybe we should have asked her that first before we told uh, Gino to do it. But, um... Seems like it might work. Anyway, we found some fuel. I got a bottle of rubbing alcohol. Will this work? Sure. Now, let's see. What else do you need? First off, I'll give you one of my old fire batons. Second, you can light it here in my fire barrel. That should be it. Are you ready? Watch me carefully, and then you try it. Okay. Okay, now you try it. You did it! You're a natural! Well, wow, that was easy. It's a lot easier than, it, than I thought it would be. But we know how to um, breathe fire now, and we still have fuel. It says rubbing alcohol. Ew! Inferno says I can use the baton to breathe fire. And we have a baton now. It's not on fire. Fortunately, that would be a bit weird to carry a burning baton around. So if we want to do it anywhere, we will need a source of fire first. Um, what else can we do here? The juggler said that he never gets challenged anymore. And one of his red balls might serve as the nose for that clown sign. So if we can find a way to challenge him, that might work. Aha! Hey! Finally a challenge! Thanks, little girl. Here's a present for you. Whoop! 
we can challenge him by using the the pin. Looks like that's not even much of a challenge. He's still doing that pretty well. But we now have one of the balls. It's a red rubber juggling ball. Anything new to talk uh, to these people about? I don't think so. But you never know with this game. Um, okay, now we're just walking all the way around automatically. I guess not. Alright, just wanted to check. Alright, let's go check on Gino. How his tattoo is going. I've already told you, I wish that she was faster. Especially this particular chapter, because you do all, quite a lot of walking, and none of it is very straightforward, so. Ooh, you're getting a real tattoo? Cool! What is it? It's a big heart with Inferno's name on it. Uh, I hope this gets her attention. Wow, you must really love her. Uh, yeah, I do. She was always too good for that skinny sword swallower. She needs someone who can protect her from Iggy. Sure. And tattooing the name of someone you love on your arm before you're even in a relationship, I'm sure there's no downsides to that. Oh. I accidentally right clicked. Why does she need to be protected? Iggy stays in the water, right? Well, I ain't taking no chances. He's getting pretty big out there. It's just a matter of time now. Can't you see I'm busy? Graham, you nosy little prick. He doesn't want to talk. But while he's not looking. We can get the needle. Yuck, the needle doesn't look very clean. Let's hope the needles he's using are cleaner. Although, honestly, wouldn't be wouldn't surprise me if they weren't. But we just needed to pick a lock, so we don't care how clean it is. I've already mastered the ring toss. Alright, um, let's head back down here. Let's see if we can free the uh, dog man thing. There's actually something I forgot here. If you walk over here, you can talk to these two. I think they're conjoined twins. Ew, they're connected. My name's Sarah. What's yours? My name's Matt, and my sister's name is Ashley. You're connected! That's what Siamese twins are, Sarah. How did that cage break? That disgusting squid boy did it. It doesn't surprise us. He's a violent creature. We're sure his upbringing had a lot to do with it. What do you mean by that? Stuart bought him from a preacher in a strange little town. It seems this child was the result of an affair between the preacher and a local farmer's wife. They kept her pregnancy secret for almost five months. Then an early childbirth? And he came out. He? A normal baby would have died from such a birth, but this one was... He was abnormally strong, with severely deformed limbs that lacked any bone structure. The woman was so distraught, she took her own life. And the preacher kept the child in a wet, dark cellar for months. Letting him live off rats and scraps of food. Until the circus came, and the freak show. Okay. So, this Iggy squid that's 
terrorizing everyone here is related to the town where we just were? This is getting weirder and weirder. Why didn't he just give the child to Stuart? He said he needed the money. To fix this church. Apparently a storm knocked something off of it. But that story was probably just an excuse. So he could get rid of Iggy. Oh, is that the cross we found in the river? I guess so. Alright. Um, let's Look, get back I in here. Thank you. Now, step lively, little girl, for the gallery of the grotesque awaits. <laughs> Alright, I'm sure he won't mind that we're about to set one of his freaks free. Oh yeah, there was one here too. I thought I walked by, by here and it just didn't show. Weird. Guess I wasn't close enough. He's all bendy. My name's Sarah. What's yours? I am Pretzul, the master of elasticity. Ooh, can you light up a light bulb? What? No, no, not electricity. Elasticity. What does that word mean, mister? That means uh, I can twist and stretch myself into many different shapes. Indeed, he seems to be very flexible. I sure can't do that. How long have you been a freak in the circus? For many years now. I've seen quite a few freaks come and go. But that squid boy was the worst of the lot. How did that cage break? During the flood, Iggy's wagon tipped over and his tank ruptured. With all that water and room to move, he was able to wriggle out of his chains. Once free of them, it was quite easy for him to bend back the bars and swim away. Well, he must be pretty strong. Where did he swim to? He swims around the island. Preying on anyone or anything that dares to venture into the water. It's no secret that Iggy hated it here at the freak show. Hated the whole circus. He wants revenge. Iggy is afraid of fire, but as long as he stays out in the water, he's untouchable. We are doomed. Alright, well, that's not great then. I don't understand him wanting revenge. Doesn't seem like he had a happy life. But he still didn't need to kill all those people. Can I talk to him anymore? How did that cage break? <sighs> Slimy squid boy broke loose. Wish I could. Don't worry, we're gonna help you with that. Yuck! The needle doesn't look very clean. That's it. Oh, free, free, thank you. Bones, dig them up. Ow! You just smack the uh, cage into her. That's not very nice. The wagons don't look like very comfortable homes. Um, that doesn't seem to have given us anything immediately. But who knows? Maybe those bones you'll dig up will be useful or something. I picked the lock on Timber's cage. Let's just tell him. I see that. I hope he comes back. Because now, I only have two freaks. What kind of show is that? My reputation is ruined. I think he'll be fine. He might come back after he... gets his bones. Alright, we also got... Um, a red ball that might serve as a nose for the mysteriously moving sign. Where's the nose? 
Bros. Let's see what happens it's if we give him a new one. Juggling ball. Okay, Shrimpo, step up to the sign and Spanky will... What the... Huh. I guess you're okay, Stretch. Thank you. I guess he didn't notice any of that. Children of all ages, come one, come all. There you enter the house of harp. How many tickets to get in? Five tickets, kiddo. I don't know how you did it, but you grew up real quick. That's the damnedest thing I ever saw. Yep, we grew up real quick. That's definitely what happened. Look, I have some game to- Thanks, Squirt. The House of Horror awaits. And now we don't have any tickets anymore, but we also don't need them anymore. All right, let's check out this house of horror, as if most of this place isn't horrific enough. <laughs> I like the little things Spooky. popping out. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, yeah. come one, come all. Stay Can't look at him, I guess. Recoil in utter terror at the fearsome spectacle. Okay, that was weird. We saw Max in the mirror. A broken piece of mirror. I hope I don't get bad luck. Guess technically Max broke the mirror? Although, maybe she is Max? I don't really know. And now we're over here in an area that apparently can only be reached by going through the House of Horrors, so they must enjoy being here. Spooky. What is this guy doing? His breath smells funny. <laughs> My name's Sarah. What's yours? Well, I'll be <laughs> a leprechaun. Where's your pot of gold, little leprechaun? <laughs> I'm not a leprechaun. I'm a girl. Ah, uh, you don't fool me, Leprechaun! <laughs> My name is Laughing Larry! <laughs> Show me to your pot of gold! He's weird. They're all weird. Do you like it here at the circus? No, sure. <laughs> Nothing beats waiting to die of starvation or being eaten alive by some freak! <laughs> oh, let the good times roll! <laughs> Sounds like fun. Don't you guys have enough food? Uh, maybe enough for a month or so. But once a giant squid eats all the fish around here, we're screwed. <laughs> you can help us, can't you, little leprechaun? You can... <laughs> I'm screwed! Eaten alive, you mean? That squid gonna eat us all, I tell you! We're all doomed! <laughs> I wonder if the people being eaten here has any connection to the cannibal lady in the asylum. Or maybe now I'm just seeing connections where there aren't any. Alright, let's see what's up here. Another tent. How are we going to get back through, through here? From here, I guess we could go 
backwards through the House of Horror? I'm not sure if we're supposed to do that. Neat little tent. This is the one that had the skull on top, I think. Looks like it's the fortune teller. I wonder what all these star pictures mean. I wonder what all these star pictures mean. These, I guess, are star signs. Ooh, she has a crystal ball. Hello, my name is... Sarah. Wow, you knew! Of course I did. I'm quite skilled in the mystic arts, my child. My name is Lady Avama. Wait, why can't we talk about Zippy? I met another fortune teller. His name is... Zippy! That pinhead! He is a fake. Just a stupid clown with delusions of grandeur. Okay. Let's ask her for a fortune. Would you tell me my future? Normally I would charge you. But with the way things are, I see no point in it. Come closer. I will need to see your Paul. I see that you are far from home, and that you are not who you appear to be. You possess the solution to an important problem, although outside forces conspire against you. How unusual. Your hands tell the stories of someone easily three times your age. Well, I must rest now. But I will give you one final piece of advice. On your way home, beware the pit of darkness. You can only pass through safely when you have sought out the wand, flask, and reflection. What? Ooh, oh. wow! Okay, she just teleported us for some reason? I guess that's how we get out of there. The fortune was interesting, though. We have the solution to a great problem. But outside forces are conspiring against us. Is she talking about the squid? Or maybe that applies more to Max than it does to Sarah. The other thing she said about wearing the Pit of Darkness and only go there if we have uh, the Flask, the Wand, and Reflection Seems a little bit more obvious because we have, in fact, got a flask, a wand, and reflection. So I guess we're ready for the darkness, whatever that is. Not sure if there's anything new to talk about. Sometimes there is. Inferno, guess what? Gino is getting a tattoo for you. Really? Maybe I misjudged him. He must have meant what he said in those sweet, simple poems. Yeah, I think he did. I guess there's nothing else to talk about here now. Okay, I need to go to the right. Do I tempt fate and try to get past the clown over here? It's not working. I'm going to go the other way. I'm not going to try and wait for him. Yes, we made it. You can't walk in between the wires. Anything new to talk to you about? Nope, nothing. There's, however, a hole here that was not here before. Timber! 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 Did you find your bone? Found them. But something smells bad. What is it? What's wrong? Rotten, like death. Must leave. I have to climb out. <laughs> Timber! 
think we found the squid. I guess this is where Timber dug for his bones. And we have no choice but to go down into the cave. Despite the loading screen, this is not a new chapter. And let's see. This pile of bones looks a lot smaller now, doesn't it? Are those human bones? I guess this is the pit of darkness that they were talking about. Just a bunch of dry twigs. There's some twigs here. No way. The water's so dark. Yeah, we need um, some form of protection against the squid before we dare to go in there. And for that, we're gonna need fire. And we know how to fire breathe and have everything we need for that, but we don't have actual fire. Throw our dry, dry twigs here. And we have a mirror. A broken piece of mirror. I hope I don't get bad luck. Huh? They're burning! So I guess this is why the uh, fortune teller said not to go in here before we got all three of these things. Inferno says I can use the baton to breathe fire. So now we can set the baton alight. And now she'll go into the, in here somewhere. Going into the water. This works very similar to the pumpkin patch before. There's rocks that fall down you just need to avoid. And whenever you see a tentacle, you use the baton on it. Just go slow and it's not that hard. Nice. Okay, well, dealing with the tentacle got me caught under the rock. That was kind of unfair. If you die, it'll just send you back to the beginning. Same as with the pumpkin patch. And I think we found the squid. And him, you just need to hit him three times in the eye. See you in hell, freak. And that's it. I made it in one attempt. That was a weird looking squid man. And it looks like this is taking us to the house. that we saw through the binoculars. Weird. Um, this house has some uh, issues by the looks of it. I wonder what the significance of this is. The walls are squirming like they're not even real. I feel like I'm in Silent Hill now. Ooh, that looks hot. Are we about to test whether or not that's hot? I guess it is hot. Good to know. Um, there's something in that drain there. I saw it move. Nothing important though. Wait. Was that Max? The younger Max from the flashback we saw earlier? After he couldn't find the doll? 
Is this the house where they lived? Why is that here? Interesting. Maybe this will finally tell us some more about what's going on, but we'll have to find out in the next video.